and welcome to Jeopardy! We are your hosts, Peter and John. And have we ever done this before, John? I don't think so, Peter. This is going to be the first ever IB Math Department Jeopardy! game. Now let's meet our contestants. Our first contestant is... Get Smart! Our next contestant, we have the P-Meister. And our third contestant, Chase of not spades, not hearts, not diamonds, but clubs. Contestant, let's give a warm welcome to G Force. Our fifth contestant, just a later. Now watch me whip. Kill it. Now watch me nine nine. Now watch me whip. And last, but certainly not least, we have Matt the Dog Davis. Who let the dogs out? Row, 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 row. Who let the dogs out? Row, 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 row. Who let the dogs out? Row, row, row. Yo, check it out. What's that? It looks like an interesting game. True. It's smarter than you any day. What? Yeah. Mind your P's what kind and of Q's. are you anyway? Grade <laughs> Whatever. School. I bet you're grade school. Exactly. You're, you're a dog. Yeah. Like, Hypotenuse oh. useless. Are you a chihuahua? Will yeah, you just... stop trying to look at my work? Oh, you're probably trying to divide by zero. Whatever. <laughs> no, I don't need to see your stuff. My grandma could integrate better. Oh, why? You could work on your hand your X and you would not even know why. Try to neaten up that handwriting. I think I've had enough riffraff. Yeah, let's get this game started. The dog is getting rowdy. Here are some rules. There are five categories. Calculus, pre-calculus, discrete math, statistics, potpourri, and challenge topics. No dividing by zero. No negativity. Be right. Don't be obtuse or acute. Try and go quickly. Can we get a volunteer for a warm-up question first? I'll do it. Oh, shut up. Go Cousin. away. Get down. <laughs> All right. Let's kick things off with Get Smart. Would you like to pick a category? I'm gonna go with calculus, my forte. You're not 40. No, like, like forte from the French. Oh, mais oui. <laughs> the function, y equals negative x squared plus 8x minus 15, is revolved around two pies. So what kind of pies, man? I don't know, it doesn't say. I think probably one cherry, one apple. It's about the x-axis. Oh, that's store-bought. Yeah. So find the volume of the solid that it creates. Oh, this is going to be easy. I'm going to use the bunt cake. You won't find the bunt cake method in the textbook. It's not real. Go back to the doghouse and eat some sour cream. Get smart. You got the question right. I'll take statistics for 400. Given that the mean attention span of students in HL math is normally distributed with a mean of one minute and a standard deviation of 0.25 minutes, what is the probability that Hannah Hong will pay attention for more than two seconds? <gasps> Can I hear amen? The probability is point zero 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 one. Ooh, just a later. You forgot the assumptions. Get smart, it's back to you. All right, let's go back to some real math. Pre-cal for 400. Your next question is to prove the following. Secant squared of x divided by cotangent x minus tangent cubed of x equals... Thanks! <laughs> those tensions running. They're like this high, man. No, they this high. Oh, okay. Well, um, uh, I think it's time for a little recess. Yeah, I think so too, man. You get a little rowdy. Yep. Just like the dog. Did you see that Get Smart girl? I think she's pretty cute. 
think she likes me. I, the way she was looking at me, I mean, oh, she's dreamy. Hey, Matt, the dog, Davis. What do you think? Do you, like, do you think she likes me? Do you think she likes me? I, I really couldn't say. So you can't tell anyone this, but I'm out to get that Matt, the dog, Davis. I respect him, but I guess you could say that the two of us just bump bellies. I won't reveal any of my secrets, but all I'm going to say is he's getting no soup. Ah, that's interesting. She said that about me? I really have no opinion about that. I don't even like soup. Have I shown you my multiplication trick with the 11s? This is kind of boring. I'm just going to read Paul's online notes. As Galileo said, and he was a scientist, if I were beginning my studies again, I would study, I would start with mathematics. Uh, did I mention that I love math? I really, I really love math. Hey, what's up, dog? Where should we go out after this ridiculous game? Sounds good. Yeah, we'll head to. Let's you party. Go? Yeah, it is <laughs> time. Where's Get Smart? She's in her car writing her IA. All right, guys, let's get focused now. We only Those have a few over. more questions exactly. until yeah. final jeopardy. Whatever. Hey, be quiet. What were we doing? Ooh. You better chill out, clubs. Wait, what? What? Uh, physics for 500. Hey, dude, that's not an action. Uh, oh, uh... Come on, get with it. I'll take challenge topics for a thousand? Challenge my foot. Y'all best be watching out. Because, <laughs> because this next problem has been going to the gym. It's time for strong induction. Oh, it's just induction. I'm sorry, Mr. Getz. I hate to tell you this, but your answer is... It's wrong! I guess I hit the wall of knowledge. Can you guys curve this question? Don't worry, G-Force. It's retakeable. Really? Nope. Oh. I'm gonna choose potpourri for 300. By the way, potpourri is French for potpourri. Who invented calculus? Leibniz? It's Leibniz, you ding-dong. Ugh, whatever. Or new tone. That's right. Can this question be a take home? The next topic is discrete math for 500 points. The question is Can you tell me what the purpose of incidence matrices is? You have no right to ask that question. Incidence matrices don't matter at all. So I think I get this figured out. If. I drop my two lowest IB problems, I can have a 73% in that category. I'm really worried about Ms. Jessel and her senioritis. Senioritis, is that the right term? Anyway, ever since Zane left One Direction, it's gotten really bad. She has a 2% in the homework category. I have a 13% in homework. Uh, yeah, I've, been, I've been slipping. Um, it's not good. Uh, my integral signs have been getting really sloppy, and um, you know, I've been, I've been uh, even experimenting with moving my markers around on my whiteboard a little bit. But that's only weighted 10%, so that's all right. I'm tired of all these questions. I mean, can we just show some videos or something? I just need 183%. Yep, that'll do it. 183% on my next test to get an A. I mean, I already got into college. Why does it matter? You'd think Ms. Jessel would bump a 61.8 to an 81 something? Why don't you guys provide us with donuts or candy? How do you expect to survive this competition? It's so annoying. Maybe an 89.5 even? Why are these hosts reading the questions out loud? They're right on the slide. Oh, 
Math teacher's great by trend, right? I can definitely get an A in this class. No big deal. And what time is it? I think it's time for Final Jeopardy. And your Final Jeopardy question is to write out the honor code. Do, 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 I do, before you sound like no one else I think so. I Google. I think I certify. I don't care. <laughs> Who does? Do. I don't know. I think we should just put do, no do. cheating in that little. Ding, ding, ding. Time's up. Now let's check the answers. Okay, let's see. Um, 234 marks for writing down the equation. 19,000. 31 marks for follow through, uh, 5,674 marks for using three sig figs, and about 897 marks for boxing the answer, and one point for the right answer. Well, congratulations, P. Meister. You are the proud winner of a waffle party. Are there any take home questions? Nope. Now, those waffles, they need to be fresh homemade, okay? And, oh, can I get a sticker? Uh, I don't think the waffle party is for real.